It's Sunday night. Normally I'd be doing a wine, but after a wine weekend in Walla Walla, wine weekend in Walla Walla, that's a lot of W's, I decided to do another W. I'm doing whiskey tonight. Tonight, I'm going to go ahead and review Dry Fly's Trick to Cow Whiskey. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Scott, and you're tuned into the Rookie Wine and Whiskey Enthusiast channel. YouTube's primary channel for Washington State wines and spirits, but not exclusively. But tonight, yes, it's Sunday, and normally I do my whiskeys on Wednesday for New Whiskey Wednesday. But I just got back from Walla Walla, Washington, where it was fall release, and I wanted to do a whiskey. I've been drinking wine all weekend. And to be honest with you, I needed to cleanse my palate with something completely different. And I couldn't think of a better whiskey to try that with than with Dry, Fly, Dry Fly's Trick to Cal uh, 90 Proof Whiskey. Now, Trick to Cal, what is Trick to Cal? Trick to Cal is a hybrid grain that was developed in Scotland in the 1800s that is a cross between wheat and rye. Dry Fly, as far as I know, is the only distillery using this particularly special grain to make a whiskey from. Now, as you can tell, I've had a little bit of it. I'll be honest with you, when I had this at the distillery, it was kind of confusing. It, there's a lot of rye elements in this whiskey. There's some wheat elements to this whiskey, and it took me a while. The neck pour on this is not very good. It's very harsh, but let's go ahead and get into it because it's gotten better as it's oxidized, as it's gone down the bottle. So, as you can see, this is a beautiful, beautiful golden hue color to this. Now, as I roll around, like I said, it's 90 proof. It doesn't have a whole lot of legs, but look, to be honest with you, the oils actually hold on to the ring. And the legs, as they do finally come down, are very, very slow. But they're very small. So they're kind of hard to see. Well, let's go ahead and take a nose on this. Now, right off the bat, you're going to get a lot of fruit on the nose. This is not a wheat whiskey or a rye whiskey or a, anything like a bourbon with corn where you're going to get cherry and things like that. No, this is... I'm getting circus peanut as a kind of a creamy note. Uh, I am getting apple. And it's not a mild apple, too. I'm talking this is a bright red apple note on this. Now, I also do get a little bit of your caramel, your toffee notes that you would normally see in a wheat whiskey. Now this, by the way, I have to let you know, this is barrel aged for four years. I believe Dry Fly primarily uses a char level three barrel. And I, I, I don't hold me to that, but I believe that's what they told me that they use. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now, this is where the bait and switch comes in. Let's go ahead and take a sip. There is a mouth coating on this, but this is where that switch comes in. This now, that apple note that you get goes to a spiced tea or spiced apple caramel apple note, but it's almost like there's a pepper note to it. This is where the rye comes in, and I mean it is bright rye. Now, I'm not talking anise or licorice or anything like that. No. This is a sweet peppery note, uh, lower, sort of like a paprika maybe, a little bit of spice and black pepper in there as well, but it meshes with the caramel spiced apple or spiced tea. Um, think, uh, think hot apple cider. Okay, spiced hot apple cider. That's what I'm getting a lot on this on this flavor. This is truly one of the most unique whiskeys that I think you could find out there. Mm. 
Mm. Most definitely. And that pepper note really comes in on the finish. So if you like a good, strong, rye, peppery note, you're going to love this. But if you also want to explore the sweeter side, it offers that. Again, go with the spiced apple cider note to the front. Um, now, I will tell you this. The neck pour on this whiskey is not good. It is harsh. It is disjointed. You do have to get past the neck pour on this and get down past the shoulder. But it is a unique whiskey. Uh, same along the lines of uh, Gariana. Uh, the Gariana that I reviewed, and I'll go ahead and post a, a link to that. Um, now, I did review their wheat whiskey last year, and I'll also post a link to that as well. But when it comes to unique whiskeys, you know, Westland has their Gariana. Dry Fly has their Trick to Cal whiskey. This whiskey is not for the person who just wants an easy sipper. This is something where you can go ahead and take this and you can literally sit for an hour and explore and see where this takes you and the, the pros and the cons. So that being said, what am I going to rate this? I really can't rate it like a rye or I really can't rate it like a wheat whiskey. Um, this really kind of is a standout whiskey by itself. You know, this is a solid, I mean, this is above a 90. The, the, this whiskey is unique. I would put this up where actually close to as unique as, say, Iron Root Harbinger's corn whiskey and what they've been able to do. Um, I'm going to give this a 91. This is a solid 91. Will I buy this one again? You bet. Is Am I going to pour this? For a lot of my guests, no. I've got some friends that I think would really enjoy this because they've got the complex palates. But this is not something I'm I'm definitely not introducing somebody who's new to whiskey with this particular brand. So, anyways, that being said, if you guys like this, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Please, if you if you've had Dry Flies Trick to Cal before, let me down uh, comments down below in the, uh, down below there. Let me know if you have you had this. Do you think my tasting notes are off? Do you think I'm spot on? Also, if you do like this content, please go ahead and not only hit the thumbs up button, but hit the subscribe button as well. And when you do hit the subscribe button, boy, my tongue is just all sorts of everywhere today. When you do hit the subscribe button, go ahead and hit the bell icon as well. That way, when I do upload these types of videos, you are going to be notified. That way, that's because that's how YouTube's goofy algorithms work. So that being said, please let me know. Is there another whiskey that you guys would like to have me try that may be on the weird and funky list that maybe I can keep an eye out for? Please let me know that as well. As always, please drink responsibly and life is too short for either bad wine or bad whiskey. Salon. Good job, Dry Fly.